So I get out of the elevator, and I see this real fox coming up. And I go, whoa, wait a minute. Then I realize the apartment she's coming out of is my father's apartment. Oh, God. <laughs> Sounds like a great old man to me. My father's dating a girl almost young enough for me. Bizarre, man. I freaked. It sounds like it doesn't really bother you that much, does it, buddy? Yeah, well, after I thought about it, I figured he was cooler than I really thought he was. And you were the one who thought the world was going to come to an end when your parents got divorced. I was wrong. It didn't. You know, I was thinking the other day that I see more of my dad now than I did before. Don't shine me on, man. If your old man lives near, that's one thing. But how about if your mother drags you across the country? Then how are you supposed to see him? Then it's hard. I guess it's different with everyone. With me, well, I don't see my dad as much as I used to. But when I do, we can really talk. I don't know, it's like there used to be this tension, and it's not there anymore. It's like I'm a person, and he's a person, and no one's playing a role now. Hi, Andrea. Come on in, join the gang. Group, this is Andrea Hoffman. Uh, pull up a chair. Okay. Thank you, Ellen. Okay, uh, Katie, um, weren't you just about to say something to Diane? Oh, I don't know. If she can see her father as a real person, well, that's cool. But how does her father see her? I mean, I could be 45 or something, and my father still thinks I'm this fairy princess. You should see the stuff he buys me every weekend. Oh, so he gets the guilts, and then you get the goodies, right? What's so terrible? Well, maybe Katie doesn't like the feeling of being bribed. He probably wants her to live with him, right? The old custody number. My old man started that, and that's when my mom moved us out here. It's a drag. You know, I think the worst thing of all is being caught in the middle. No matter what I do, I can't please both my mom and my dad. And I really do try. Yeah. Yeah, I can identify with that. My parents, I think, deep down, still love each other. They're just so angry, they don't know how to handle it. So they use me as this uh, messenger boy. Why don't you tell them to call Western Union? Shh. And I end up feeling like some sort of stereo set with the information coming at me from both sides. Hey, change the station. Tune out and uh, turn on, know what I mean? Hey, bird brain, will you kindly shut up? This isn't a party, you know. This is a place where we can all get together and say how we feel. And if we feel lousy, we don't need some plastic big mouth like you to make us feel lousier. Then I'll remove my plastic self from your wonderful presence. You want to come here and anyway. Andrea, wait. What's the matter with you guys? This is our first time here. You know, most of us were hostile when we first came, too. I see you in English all the time. I wanted to talk to you, but you were always off by yourself. Andrea, there are no real rules here, except when people are spilling their guts. We don't interrupt, and we don't make fun. Okay? Okay. Andrea, how you doing today? Fine. The truth, Andrea, it's so much easier. Truth about what? What am I supposed to say? How's your life? What's it been like for you since your folks split up? I can't. Try. We've all been through it. Um. Everything's different. Um. We had to move. I had to change schools and stuff. And my mother's looking for work now, and she's uptight all the time. And, uh, um, I, I miss my dad. I don't, I don't know why he left. He just walked out on us. He never wrote me or called me or anything. We were, we were really close. 
I used to tell him everything when I was little. He used to hold me on his shoulders and take me to the park with him every weekend. And we'd go to the movies together, just the two of us, and have dinner dates. I don't know, I don't know why he left. You always feel like maybe, maybe you've done something wrong. Or, uh, if you know it isn't you, then maybe the people you thought were your parents were strangers. I mean, you never really knew them. One thing we've all found out, though, is it doesn't hurt so much after a while. It just takes a little bit of time. It'll get better. Honest to well. It's a defensive reaction formation. We're uh, studying it in Psych 1A. So you're a big brain, huh? Well, I guess it's pretty obvious that I'm not a jock. Say so. Do you, uh, do you live around here? Mm -hmm. A few blocks away on Wheaton. Wheaton? That's right on my way home. Uh, if you don't mind the back of a motorcycle, I'd be glad to give you a ride. Hmm. Let me... Do you like classical music? I love it. I want to show you a place. made me cry. Well, I hope they feel the same way at Juilliard. Are you going to Juilliard? Well, maybe. I've applied there and at UCLA. I was going to Vassar or Wellesley before my father blew my college fund. Well, you could always go on a scholarship if you had the grades, which of course you do. How do you know? Oh, I have you pretty much figured out. Straight-A student, rich lifestyle, best school, accent strictly on the material. How am I doing? Not bad. Not bad. Nice little hideout you've got here. She's a little fixing up, though. Comes the divorce, the uh, bubble bursts. You start school here and experience cultural shock. Being smart, you decide to adapt. Being inexperienced, however, you go for the lowest common denominator. I make a fool out of myself. No one's judging you. You were. I wasn't judging. I was just telling you what I thought I saw. You don't talk like any other boy I know. Do you know many boys? Not many. I bet people tell you you're mature for your age, huh? All the time. Tony, do you... Do you ever get lonely? Well, if you mean, does this child ever get the low-down, strung-out, funky blues, well... Yes. Yes, indeed, he does. Me too. Would you hold me? You're so pretty. Boyfriend? 
No. Are you going with anyone? Me? No, I'm your basic social retard, can't you tell? Hey, let's be each other's best friend. You want to? Yeah, that would be nice. <laughs> Excuse me. Yes. May I help you? Yes, uh, you have a sign, uh, help wanted in the window. Yes, it's very hard to keep help these days. They come, they go. You, you're interested? Yes, I'm very interested. I'll be honest with you, I've never worked in a store before, but uh, I know a lot about jewelry, and I'm very responsible. I'll come in early, I'll stay late, I'll... Well, that's, that's a very good sales pitch. Please sit down. Thank you. You, uh, you said that you know something about jewelry. Yes, there was a time in another life, when I used to buy a lot of it. Um, what happened? Divorced, two kids to raise. I need a job. Well, when could you start? Am I hired? Some businesswoman. You don't even ask what the salary is. What's the salary? Not much. But you get commission on what you sell. I'll take it. <laughs> I'll sell, I'll sell, I'll take it. Start tomorrow. That's lovely. I'll get it. Princess! Oh, got Hi. my baby, huh? I'm fine, Daddy. I'm sorry about last week, but uh, some things came up. We'll do it next week. I thought you said we were going to do it this week. Well, I may have to make another trip, sweetheart. Hey, Joshua. Hi. Say hello to your old man. Hi, Dad. Will you be joining us for breakfast? Must have grown about two inches. How have you been? Peachy. How's the new school? Oh, it's swell. Well, I bet it's a lot better than that other snobby place you went to, eh? Well, it's all relative, Dad. The kids are certainly more down to earth. Very few of them are fully armed. But what with being fat, brand new, and two grades ahead of everyone else my age, I probably won't get elected student body president this year. Same old smart mouth, huh? Josh, Andy, guess what? Joe. What are you doing here? Seeing the kids, what else? You're supposed to call first, Joe. The judge made that perfectly clear. You can't just drop in here any time. I have a lot of action going now, Irene. I'm trying to get on my feet. I can't be pinned down like that. I have to stay loose. Loose? As in fluid? As in slippery? As in gone? That boy needs a talking to. That boy needs a lot of things, Joe. We all do. Love, attention, money, explanations. Oh, Irene, don't start with that injured innocence again. You knew our marriage was over. You knew I wasn't happy. I knew nothing of the sort. Well, then you should have. No matter what I did, no matter how much money I made, it was never enough for you. That's not true. I never asked for any of it. You didn't mind spending it when you had it, huh? That was your need, not mine. Ah, well, look at that. All of a sudden, she's a psychologist. Oh, no, you don't. You're not putting me on the defensive ever again. You wanted to go. You left. You live with it. Believe it or not, we're surviving quite well without you, Joe. Now, you are never to come here again without my knowledge. Do you understand that? Please leave my home now. Now. Daddy, for your dining pleasure this morning, we have omelet a la Josh. Looks great. Why? Why does he have to be like that? <laughs> 